The information presented in this video is intended for professional craftsmen experienced with the products and tools commonly used in the refinishing and detailing industries. Welcome to McGuire's Professional Education Series. This presentation will show you the professional techniques experts use to remove all paint defects with skill and precision. These include buffer swirls, also known as holograms, sanding marks, acid rain chemical etching, oxidation, orange peel, scuffs, mars, and all types of pore embedding stains. Then you'll see the secrets pros use to restore a brilliant, high-gloss show car finish that your customers will love you for and you can be proud of. The knowledge we share with you in this educational series is a culmination of over 100 years of fine-tuning formulas and perfecting techniques to meet the demanding needs of quality-minded professionals and serious car enthusiasts around the world. For us, creating flawless finishes isn't merely a function of our business, but rather a visible expression of the passion that ignites our company and goes far beyond simply polishing and waxing. Our passion for perfection is literally blended into every formulation we create. The result is a line of products that have gained worldwide popularity because they continually outperform the competition. This is why Meguiar's products are used and recommended by car and automotive paint manufacturers around the world, as well as being the products of choice among the best of class winners at the most respected car shows in the world, including the famed Pebble Beach Concours d'Elegance in Monterey, California, for as long as records have been kept. Meguiar's involvement permeates every aspect of the car hobby, it is especially apparent at car shows where everyone wants their finish to look its absolute best with deep, dark reflections and the wet look shine that Meguiar's is famous for. With Meguiar's, it's all about the passion. To help spread this passion, Meguiar's even has its own car crazy TV and radio shows. This provides a forum for the most famous icons in the car hobby to share their personal stories on how they became so car crazy. Meguiar's is also recognized as the experts in surface care because of the close working relationships we have with most of the major car manufacturers around the world. These relationships read like a who's who of the car world. Companies like BMW, Daimler Chrysler, Ford, General Motors, Honda, Hyundai, Infiniti, Jaguar, Mercedes-Benz, Mitsubishi, Saab, Saturn, Toyota, and Volkswagen. Meguiar's also enjoys close working relationships in the coatings industry with the leading automotive paint manufacturers throughout the world, including Axo Nobel, Dulux, DuPont, Glasserit, House of Color, ICI, Kansai, Nippon, PPG, Sherwin-Williams, and more. Both of these industries rely on Meguiar's experience and expertise to help them design both paints and repair procedures that make the process of paint correction much easier to perform. Meguiar's is one of the few companies in the world that enjoys these exclusive relationships. This advanced insider's information helps us to formulate state-of-the-art products that enable you to produce extraordinary results on all paint finishes, including those most recently introduced. The importance of our working closely with both car and automotive paint manufacturers around the world cannot be overstated. Evolving technologies like ceramic clears and UV cured paint systems are far more resistant to scratching and chemical etching than any previously available paint system. While this will greatly benefit consumers, it makes these finishes much less responsive to traditional color sanding and buffing. Knowing years in advance about upcoming changes in coatings technology allows Meguiar's to be working on tomorrow's formulas today. This ensures Meguiar's will have the products you need even before you need them to produce extraordinary results on every type of paint system. 
through the use of our interactive website, our training centers, our professional education series of videos and DVDs, and our mobile training center, McGuire's is committed to bringing you the latest information on emerging technologies and the newest cutting-edge products in the auto appearance industry. Customer satisfaction, the key to your success. Paint technology is continually changing, and your customers are becoming more and more critical when it comes to what is acceptable. Knowledge is power, and in today's competitive market, you need all of the power you can get. The 100 plus years of acquired knowledge that McGuire's reveals to you in this series will elevate your reputation as an expert in the art of producing extraordinary finishes. If you want to be successful, then it is very important for you to first evaluate your customer. Make sure your services are compatible with your customer's expectations. Find out what they expect from their finish, and more importantly, what they expect from you. To begin with, inspect the finish together. Have your customers show you specifically where any problem areas are and what, if anything, they know about them. Explain to your customer the correct way to fix the problem. If the problem is too extensive to repair, be upfront and honest. Make sure they know what can and cannot be repaired. The importance of a clean start. The first step in any successful repair is starting with a clean vehicle. Washing removes loose dirt and contaminants from the surface as well as cracks and crevices. This will help prevent abrasive particles from entering the repair procedure, which could potentially cause swirls. Here are a few tips for a top quality wash. Always work from the top down using a premium car wash. This will prevent you from bringing dirt from the bottom of the car to the top of the car where it can potentially scratch the surface. Rinse the car thoroughly. Don't forget to rinse the cracks, crevices, and body seams. Dry the car with a clean 100% cotton terry cloth towel or a clean high quality microfiber towel. Evaluating the surface. Now it's time to re-inspect the entire finish, visually with your eyes and physically with the face of your hand. Some defects can be seen while others cannot. By using your sense of touch, you can feel the condition of the paint. For deep scratches and chemical etching, you may want to inspect the affected surface more closely using a magnifying glass. Mark all defects or problem areas on your work order. Your working environment. Now that you're ready to work on the vehicle, it's important to consider your work environment. A clean shop helps you work efficiently and helps to ensure quality results throughout the process. Successful people know that a clean image presents a professional image. You never get a second chance to make a good first impression. Quality lighting is also very important. If you can't see it, you can't work on it. In order to work safely, you should remove certain trim, emblems, and even things like side mirrors or antennas. This will give you access to the paint in and around these areas without endangering yourself or your customer's car. In order to prevent splatter and product residue from slinging into body seams, cracks, and crevices, we recommend that you tape off and cover these areas before you begin. All car owners dislike wax in the cracks. <laughs> Your customer will quickly forget how great the overall finish looks if their attention is continually directed toward unsightly residue in the cracks, crevices, and body seams. Choosing the correct repair procedure. Before beginning the repair process, be aware there are a variety of methods you can use to correctly remove paint defects. Which method you choose should be determined by the severity of the defect, your skill level, the condition and type of paint, as well as the expectations of your customer. For some vehicles, it may be necessary to use a sanding procedure to remove the serious defect safely and efficiently. Sanding gives you excellent control over the amount of film build you're removing. This is potentially faster and safer than trying to remove the same defects using only a rotary buffer and a heavy compound. 
For other vehicles, however, you will rely only on your rotary buffer to remove the defects and restore a flawless finish. A thorough surface evaluation combined with your experience will help you determine which method to use. When it comes to choosing a sanding procedure to remove paint defects, your two options are either traditional hand sanding or machine sanding. Hand sanding is the preferred method for tight areas, complicated curves, and body contours. Of course, your personal preferences and access to machine-operated sanders will also determine your sanding method. Hand sanding techniques. Hand sanding, which is also referred to as wet sanding or color sanding, requires a high level of skill to perform correctly. Using the highest quality sandpapers available, such as Meguiar's Unigrit finishing papers, will increase your success rate and give you the best chance for producing a flawless finish. Unlike conventional automotive grade sanding papers, Meguiar's finishing papers have Unigrit construction. What this means is the particle size is uniform, as well as their distribution across the entire sheet of paper. This means all your sanding marks have the same depth and will be evenly instilled across the surface of the finish. The results are sanding marks that buff out quickly, easily, and completely. Prior to sanding, you will need to soak your papers at least 15 minutes. This ensures complete saturation, which will allow 100% of the paper to be effective. Meguiar's Unigrit finishing papers have a latex backing that prevents them from falling apart. Because of this, you can soak them overnight and leave them in water for extended periods of time without the fear of the papers dissolving and breaking apart. We always recommend you choose the least aggressive paper to get the job done. Meguiar's finishing papers range from 3,000 grit to 1,000 grit, with the 2,500 and 3,000 grit specifically made for removing defects from factory clear coats. We also suggest using a high-quality backing pad to distribute your hand pressure evenly across the entire surface for a fast, uniform cutting action. And here's a great tip. To help lubricate the surface and prevent your papers from loading up, we recommend using a high lubricity car wash mixed into your water source. Before you begin sanding, we recommend you measure the film build with a paint thickness gauge and make a note of these measurements on your work order. While sanding, it's important to use lots of water from a clean source to flush abraded particles off the surface. This will greatly reduce the potential for isolated scratches, commonly referred to as tracers. We recommend using straight line motions for all of your sanding work because straight line sanding marks are much easier to remove. Having an extra backing pad around works great as a squeegee to inspect your progress while you're working. Sand for approximately 8 to 10 strokes and then check your progress. If the defects are still there, continue sanding until you have removed the defects completely. Machine sanding techniques. Now let's take a look at machine sanding. Machine sanding offers high speed, uniform film build removal with less physical effort. Machine sanding is best suited for large flat panels. In a production environment, machine sanding can dramatically decrease the amount of time spent on the sanding procedure. For machine sanding, the most commonly used tool is the DA sander. DA stands for dual action, which describes the two different movements the backing pad travels during operation. Dual action sanders use both a rotating action, like you find in a rotary buffer, and an oscillating motion, like you find in an orbital polisher. Together, these two motions produce an aggressive yet controlled sanding action. This results in the fast removal of material with easy to buff out sanding marks. For best results, we recommend the use of a DA finishing sander. Keep in mind that when working with a DA sander, it is extremely important to keep your surface absolutely clean. Any abrasive particle that becomes trapped between your sandpaper and the finish has the potential to inflict deep scratches, commonly referred to as pigtails. One way to ensure a clean surface is to wipe your panel down using a Body Shop safe product like Meguiar's final inspection 
and our Ultimate Wipe Microfiber Polishing Cloth. The plush nap of our microfiber polishing cloth lifts and traps particles into itself, safely removing them from your panel. Before sanding, adjust your DA speed to a moderate level. Remember to always choose the least aggressive paper to get the job done. For an even less aggressive cutting action, the use of an interface pad is also an option. We recommend that you always finish sanding with at least a 1500 grit paper or higher. This will make buffing out your sanding marks faster and easier. When attaching your paper, remember to always center the paper onto the disc to ensure no part of the backing plate is exposed to the finish. Begin working the sander in a back and forth motion, overlapping each pass by 50% to ensure uniform removal of film build. Stop and inspect your work periodically. It is also a good idea to clean your disc frequently and wipe your panel down from time to time. Once you have removed the defects by either hand sanding or machine sanding, it's time to remove your sanding marks using a rotary buffer. Removing Sanding Marks Extreme care must be used when operating a rotary buffer. To begin with, always secure loose clothing. Tuck in your shirt and remove rings, belts and watches. We also recommend a smock or apron to protect both the finish and your clothes. And don't forget to wear safety glasses. The first thing you want to do when removing your sanding marks is choose the appropriate pad and product for the job. For removing sanding marks or serious paint defects, you have two types of pads to choose from, wool pads or foam cutting pads. Natural or synthetic wool pads are more aggressive at removing sanding marks because the fibers themselves increase the cutting ability of your compound. The trade-off is that wool pads tend to impart buffer swirls into the finish as the fibers themselves instill their own scratches. Another option is to use a foam cutting pad such as the Meguiar's W7000 that is specifically made for removing defects. For removing 1000 to 1500 grit sanding marks we recommend the W4000 wool cutting pad and diamond cut compound. This aggressive combination will remove all sanding marks quickly and easily. For removing 2000 grit or finer sanding marks, we recommend you start out with compound power cleaner and our maroon colored W7000 foam cutting pad. If this combination isn't removing the defects fast enough, you can always change to a more aggressive compound or pad. Before buffing, check your RPM setting. We recommend between 1500 and 2000 RPM for best results. When first starting out with a new or dry pad, it is a good idea to prime your pad. There are two ways to do this. You can either squeeze out a bead of product in the shape of an X onto the surface of your pad, or lightly mist on some final inspection. Now you're ready to start buffing, but first, Here's a technique pros use to decrease splatter when applying product. First, lay down a bead of product approximately 8 to 10 inches long. To pick up this bead, look at your buffer and find the 10 o'clock position on the pad. Place your buffer just to the right of the bead at the 10 o'clock position and bring the RPMs up to speed. Now sweep across the bead with the left side of the pad slightly raised. This will allow the bead of product to be drawn into the pad rather than splattering the walls and yourself with the product. Once the edge has gone past the end of the bead, quickly lay the foam pad down completely flat and begin buffing. With a little practice, you will soon be picking up your product like a pro. Remember to always move your rotary buffer in a back and forth motion, overlapping each pass by 50%. Use a slow to medium pace for buffing out most defects. Running the buffer too fast will generate too much heat, potentially burning or hazing the finish. On the other hand, running the buffer too slowly will not produce enough cutting action which is necessary to remove your sanding marks. Unfortunately, some technicians move the buffer wildly back and forth. This gives the appearance of moving fast. 
but in actuality, you are doing very little work. By slowing down, you will actually go faster while getting superior results. You need to move your buffer slowly enough to allow your pad and product to spend enough time in one area to do work. In other words, to allow the combination of the product and the pad to remove small particles of paint. This is how you smooth or level the surface and thus remove the defects. While buffing, it is crucial to always keep your buffing pad flat to the surface. Tilting your buffing pad on an edge can cause buffer swirls. It can also burn the paint very quickly because the increased pressure causes heat to concentrate on the reduced pad area. Use moderate pressure on the first few passes. This should cut out a majority of your sanding marks. After a few passes, lighten up your pressure and you will start polishing the surface. Now, here's a secret that is very important to understand. When you quit buffing too soon, the unique diminishing abrasives in Meguiar's compounds will not have completely broken down and worked into the finish. You see, Meguiar's diminishing abrasives start out aggressive, abrading the paint and removing sanding marks and other serious defects. As you continue to buff, these diminishing abrasives gradually break down under pressure and become less and less abrasive as the surface becomes smoother, flatter, and more defect-free. At the end of the buffing cycle, these diminishing abrasives completely disappear, converting our compounds into non-abrasive polishes that begin to create high gloss. If you quit buffing too soon, you lose this unique advantage famous to Meguiar's compounds. This is also why, after making your initial passes with moderate pressure, you need to lighten your pressure up for your remaining passes. It is this intricate, diminishing abrasive action taking place at the microscopic level between your pad and the surface that produces an almost magical polishing action like no other system is capable of producing. The problem with conventional compounds that use sharp mechanical abrasives that do not break down is they are just as aggressive at the end of the buffing cycle as they were at the beginning. The result is a finish that is scoured and dull instead of polished to a high gloss. These types of products also remove more film build than is safe or necessary. This puts you in danger of burning through the finish as well as reducing the potential life expectancy of your customer's paint. Learning to machine buff correctly with a Meguiar's compound or paint cleaner means buffing right up to the point where there is only a light residue remaining on your surface. This ensures the diminishing abrasives have completely broken down and polished out any remaining fine and ultra-fine scratches, including their own scratch, thus creating a swirl-free, high-gloss finish. Pros refer to this as wet buffing. When you get to this point, stop buffing, wipe the residue from the panel, and then inspect your work. If the sanding marks are gone, repeat this process to the rest of the sanded areas. If the sanding marks are still present, you should substitute a more aggressive product or pad. From time to time, stop buffing, turn your buffer over, and inspect the working surface of your pad. You can clean your foam pads by holding a nylon brush against the flat surface of the pad while revving up the buffer. The nylon bristles will kick off any particles that may have attached to your pad without damaging the foam. To clean a wool pad, use a metal spur to kick out any abrasive particles and separate the wool fibers. Cleaning your pad often will prevent unwanted swirls in the finish. With the Meguiar system of Unigrit papers, diminishing abrasives, and foam buffing pads, sanding marks and other serious defects are completely removed, and the finish is easily polished to a brilliant high gloss. At first glance, the same results appear to be achieved using conventional sanding papers and abrasive compounds when followed by a polish. The difference is that the scratches created by conventional systems are only covered up by polishing and quickly return after the first car wash. By using our Unigrit finishing papers and our compounds with diminishing abrasives, the scratches are completely removed, 
never to return. Removing paint defects by machine. Wet sanding is an option for removing serious surface defects. An option for minor defects is to simply remove them using a rotary buffer with the appropriate pad and product. This procedure is very similar to removing sanding marks, but with a few subtle changes, typically starting out with a less aggressive product and or pad. Minor defects include light acid rain, chemical etching, random isolated scratches, oxidation, scuffs and mars, poor embedding stains, and impressions left from insects and bird droppings. Some defects, such as deep isolated scratches, cannot be completely removed. They can, however, be greatly improved. Improved to such a point that they are unnoticeable, or at least much less noticeable. Either way, many of your customers will be more than satisfied with a scratch that is barely visible versus paying to have the car repainted. Remember, safety first. The same cautions apply for removing defects by machine as they do for removing sanding marks by machine. Whenever you're machine buffing with a rotary buffer, it is vitally important that you choose the least aggressive products to get the job done. This applies to both your choice of pads and products. You can always substitute a more aggressive pad or product if your first choice isn't cutting fast enough. The old adage, better safe than sorry, really applies in situations where you're working on factory clear coats and you are uncertain of the exact film build you have to work with. This is where experience really pays off. For removing buffer swirls, also known as holograms, isolated random scratches, cobweb scratches, also known as cobweb effect, light acid rain, chemical etching, oxidation, scuffs and mars, and all types of pore embedding stains, we recommend you start out with our number 83 dual action cleaner polish and our W7000 foam cutting pad. If this is not removing the defects quickly or effectively enough, you can always switch to a more aggressive product or a more aggressive pad. Here's another tip. For tighter areas, don't forget about the Meguiar's six and a half inch buffing pads. They really come in handy for these situations. Working safely and like a professional is just a matter of working your way down the aggressiveness scale, always using the least aggressive product to get the job done. Remember to use common sense. Not all defects can be removed completely. This is where experience really makes the difference between a successful detail and an unhappy customer. Here are some techniques to help you remove surface defects using only the rotary buffer. Before buffing, check your RPM setting. We recommend between 1500 and 2000 RPM for best results. Remember, running the buffer too fast or applying too much pressure generates too much heat, potentially burning or hazing the finish. When you're first starting out, it's a good idea to prime your pad. Remember to use a slow to medium pace and move your rotary buffer in a back and forth motion overlapping each pass by 50% to ensure the even removal of film build. You need to move your buffer slowly enough to allow your pad and your product to spend enough time in one area to do work, or in other words, to allow the combination of the cleaner polish and the buffing pad to remove small particles of paint. Keep the buffing pad flat to the surface at all times. Use moderate pressure on the first few passes this should cut out a majority of the surface defects. After a few passes, lighten up your pressure and you will start polishing the surface. Remember, if you quit buffing too soon, the unique diminishing abrasives in Meguiar's cleaner polishes will not have completely broken down and worked into the finish. This could potentially leave a light swirl or haze. Learning to machine buff correctly with a Meguiar's compound paint cleaner or cleaner polish means buffing right up to the point where there is only a light residue remaining on your surface. Occasionally stop buffing, wipe the residue from the panel, and inspect your work. If the defects are gone, repeat this to the rest of the affected areas. If deeper defects remain, then apply some more product and buff the panel again. You can always substitute a more aggressive product or pad. From time to time, stop buffing. 
Turn your buffer over and inspect the working surface of your pad. Cleaning your pad often will prevent unwanted swirls in the finish. After experimenting with the combination of product and pad you have chosen, you should get a feel for how long to buff in order to completely remove the deepest of defects. The depth of the defects may vary from panel to panel. The vertical panels, for example, may have very shallow scratches and will buff out very quickly, while the horizontal surfaces may have deeper defects that will take more time or more aggressive products. And don't forget our six and a half inch buffing pads. They really come in handy for removing small isolated defects. Restoring gloss. Now that all sanding marks or surface defects have been removed, it is time to restore the gloss and depth of color. You must bring the quality of your buffing skills to their highest level for this step. How well you perform this step will either make or break your results. Here is a very important tip. It is vitally important that you thoroughly remove all traces of compound and other residue before you begin machine polishing. This will help prevent any fine swirls from being created during the polishing process. To do this, wipe down all cracks, crevices, and body seams using Meguiar's final inspection. Now, let's restore the gloss and depth of color. For this procedure, you want to use a softer polishing pad, which will bring up the gloss by creating a more perfectly smooth surface. You will also want to switch to a finer, cleaner polish for this second step. This will greatly increase the clarity of a clear coat finish, allowing your eyes to discover the full color spectrum of the base coat underneath. For single stage paints, it will bring out the beautiful depth of color while creating deep, dark reflections. If you used our number 84 compound power cleaner or our number 85 diamond cut compound for your first step, we recommend that you follow this with number 83 dual action cleaner polish and a W8000 polishing pad. If you used our number 83 dual action cleaner polish for your first step, then we recommend you follow that with number 82 swirl free polish with either a W8000 polishing pad or a W9000 finishing pad. Both these procedures will produce show winning results. Here are some professional techniques to help you machine polish the paint to a high gloss. Always check the RPM setting on your buffer before beginning. We recommend a little slower speed for machine polishing, somewhere between 1200 and 1600 RPM. Another important factor to consider is pressure. There is a fine balance between applying too much pressure and applying just the right amount of pressure to produce a polishing effect. This balance is the difference between merely buffing out a car or producing a work of art. Remember to always prime a new or dry pad. Remember to move your buffer in a back and forth motion, overlapping each pass by 50%. Use a slow to medium pace to ensure an even high gloss throughout the entire finish. Again, do not make the mistake beginners make by moving your buffer wildly back and forth. While this gives the appearance of moving fast, in actuality, you are doing very little polishing. Remember, at this stage of the game, what you should be focusing on is producing a high gloss finish. In order to do this, you start out by applying light pressure and then ease up on subsequent passes. This combination of light pressure, together with the right cleaner polish and the correct foam polishing pad, spinning at 1200 to 1600 RPM, has a polishing effect. How long to continue buffing is a matter of judgment that only experience can help you determine. Buff each section once very thoroughly and if time allows you may choose to buff the area a second time. For this second pass clean your pad with a nylon brush. Lay down a fresh bead of product. Use less pressure than your first pass using just a little more pressure than the weight of the buffer alone. Overlap all of your passes by 50%. The proper technique for machine polishing is to always buff wet. That means never buff for so long in one area that you run out of liquid polish on the surface. 
After a few minutes, stop buffing, wipe off the remaining residue, and inspect your work. Microfiber Polishing Cloths To ensure show car results, you should be using a high-quality Meguiar's Ultimate Wipe at this step of the process. Tatty rags and poor quality towels may put scratches back into the finish. The Meguiar's Ultimate Wipe will greatly reduce, if not totally eliminate, the towel-inflicted scratches that show up so easily on highly polished finishes. The Meguiar's Ultimate Wipe is far better in quality than the hundreds of generic microfiber cloths flooding the market today. The secret to the Ultimate Wipe's superior performance is in the fibers themselves, a blend of 80% polyester and 20% polyamide fibers are processed by splitting the individual threads so that they are 100 times smaller than the human hair and 300 times smaller than the fibers used to make terry cloth towels. The miniature size and unprecedented quantity of available fibers making contact with the surface give the Meguiar's Ultimate Wipe a superior cushioning effect that is gentle to highly polished finishes. The most unique feature that sets the Meguiar's Ultimate Wipe apart from all of the inexpensive knockoffs is the triangular shaped cross section of the fibers. This enables each one of these fibers to function like little squeegees, removing liquid and semi-liquid films with less effort, less pressure, and without streaking. Round fibers tend to roll over the layers of polish or wax you are trying to remove, causing you to smear and chase these substances all over the surface. This increases the potential for inflicting scratches back into the finish. Meguiar's also offers microfiber bonnets, which are available in three different sizes. These are for use on dual action polishers and orbital buffers to remove all polishes and waxes. They are made from the same high quality microfiber used to make the Meguiar's Ultimate Wipe. As an added bonus, Meguiar's microfiber products are machine washable up to 500 times for plenty of use. Just don't forget to remove the care tag before use. Removing Swirls, also known as Holograms. While we're on the subject of reducing scratches, let's take a moment to talk about the different kinds of swirls that you have to deal with, and then how to remove them. The most common are buffer swirls, also known as holograms, and cobweb scratches, also known as cobweb effect. Buffer swirls, or holograms, are a circular scratch in the paint that is visible when viewed in bright light, often sunlight, at the right angle. These types of scratches are caused by a combination of things working in unison. These could include compounds that contain sharp mechanical abrasives that do not break down, buffing pads, primarily wool or synthetic fiber. The individual fibers themselves cut the finish, putting their own scratches into the paint. Improper buffing techniques such as wrong angle, too much pressure, too much product, too little product, not buffing long enough or buffing too long, as well as a dirty shop environment. A combination of these things or even just one of these things can cause buffer swirls or holograms in the finish. Cobweb scratches or cobweb effect on the other hand is hundreds of thousands of random scratches caused by common day in and day out normal wear and tear. Things like improper washing techniques, dirty or poor quality washing mitts, towels, chamois and wax pads. All of these things will put hundreds of thousands of random scratches into the paint. Cobweb scratches have a look somewhat like the pattern created by a spider when they build a cobweb. This is where we get the term cobweb effect. To see and understand this effect, just look at the finish that surrounds a point of reflected light, such as the sun or a bright light bulb. A scratch pattern will appear to surround the point of reflected light. It actually doesn't surround any one point of reflected light. You'll notice that if you move around the car and look at the same reflected point of light, the cobweb effect will appear to follow this point of reflected light. The reason it has this type of visual effect is because typically cobweb scratches are evenly distributed throughout the finish. The importance of distinguishing between the two defects is usually a matter of the distribution and the depth of these swirls. The goal, however, is the same, and that is to remove the swirls or cobweb effect 
and restore a flawless finish. Keep in mind, swirls or holograms are the number one customer complaint related to the paint finish. For this reason, some of your customers will only have this specific problem in their finish and will look to you to remove these and restore a swirl-free finish. Here is a simple procedure to evaluate and remove buffer swirls and cobweb effect. First, you must get a feel for how deep the swirls are. To do this, you need to experiment in a small area with a light cleaner polish, such as our number 82 swirl-free polish, together with a finishing pad, like the W9000 foam finishing pad. Test one small section of a panel, using moderate pressure for a few passes. Then, while your product is still wet, lighten up the pressure and continue buffing that area for a few more passes. Do not buff to a dry buff. If necessary, apply a second small bead of product to enable you to perform these light passes while still buffing wet. Remove the buffer and wipe the residue off with the Meguiar's Ultimate Wipe. Closely inspect the finish under a variety of light conditions and at different angles. Are the swirls gone? If yes, repeat this process over the entire car. If not, then repeat the initial buffing process again. Only step down to a more aggressive product or pad. And here's an extra tip. With the wide spectrum of paint finishes today, occasionally there are stubborn swirl marks that refuse to come out, even with the best techniques. For these rare occasions, an application of our number 82 swirl-free polish with our six and a half inch W8006 soft buff polishing pad on a DA polisher works magic. Final polishing and protecting. Now that you have removed the defects and restored a show car shine, you can at your discretion apply a paintable polish for uncured paint or a premium wax for cars with cured or factory paint by hand or machine. For uncured paint and especially in body shop environments, we recommend our number 80 speed glaze. This nutrient rich polish brings out the full color and beauty of a finish. It is unique in that it contains a body shop safe synthetic polymer for long lasting durable protection. By using our number 80 speed glaze, you'll be giving your customers a great looking finish with a layer of durable protection. This layer of protection should last until the paint is cured and it is safe to apply a coat of wax. This will keep your hard work looking good while keeping your customers happy. For cured or factory paints, we recommend a premium wax such as Meguiar's number 26 high tech yellow wax. This long lasting specially blended wax offers unbeatable high gloss, rich depth of color and durable protection. Here are some techniques for applying a final polish or wax by hand. Remember to always shake your product well before using and always use a clean foam wax applicator pad to apply your polish or wax. Pour a small dab of product onto your applicator pad and apply it to one section at a time, gently spreading it across the surface. After you have gone over the entire car, proceed to remove the product using a Meguiar's Ultimate Wipe. For best results, fold the ultimate wipe in half and then in half again. By folding it this way, you will have a polishing cloth that completely covers your hand and is four layers thick to provide plenty of cushion. If you choose to use a terry cloth towel, make sure it is high in quality, clean and 100% cotton. It is important that you fold it so none of the edges are exposed to the surface. Break the surface then turn your towel over to a clean side and gently buff the surface to a high gloss. To ensure a flawless finish, we cannot emphasize enough the importance of using a Meguiar's Ultimate Wipe for final wiping. Have a co-worker help you to inspect. A second set of fresh eyes will be able to see areas you may have missed. It's much better that you find them first than to have your customer point them out later. Now here are some techniques for applying polish or wax using the Meguiar's G100 Dual Action Polisher. Always work on a cool surface in the shade and remember to shake your product well before using. 
For applying either a polish or a wax, we recommend our W8006 foam polishing pad. Meguiar's offers a special DA backing plate to attach the foam pad to the dual action polisher. First, prime your foam pad with a little product or final inspection. This will lubricate your pad. For applying polish or wax, set your speed to around 4 to 5 on the variable speed adjuster dial. Caution! Do not turn the DA polisher on until the pad is against your panel. Once you have rested the pad against the finish, turn on the polisher and begin to move your DA polisher with slow, gentle motions, overlapping each pass by 50%. Continue to apply your product until the entire panel has been polished or waxed. Now here's a little trick that's really cool. Not only can you apply polish and wax with a dual action polisher, you can also remove polish and wax with a dual action polisher. First, you will need to use a dry foam pad on your DA polisher. You cannot use the same one you applied the polish or wax with because it will now be wet with product. We recommend the W8006 because it's very flexible and this helps in the removal of product when following the multiple contours of a car's body panels. Simply slip the Meguiar's Ultimate Bonnet over the foam pad and then remove your polish or wax in the same way you applied it. The unique benefit this system offers is that it removes the wax with very little effort on your part. This is especially helpful if you're preparing a flawless finish for show or display. The microfiber bonnets are also reversible, so as one side accumulates polish or wax residue, you can remove it, turn it inside out, and then replace it with the clean side out. After you have completely removed all of the polish or wax from the finish, Go around the car with a clean ultimate wipe and look at the finish from different angles. Different angles may reveal leftover residue that couldn't be seen from normal working angles. It always helps to have a fresh set of eyes look over your work to help ensure nothing is missed. Congratulations! You have just created a flawless show car shine on your customer's vehicle. By following these techniques, you can consistently produce customer-pleasing results which will grow your business through powerful word-of-mouth advertising that no amount of money can ever purchase. Thank you for the opportunity to share with you our 100 plus years of experience in the auto appearance industry. We know that the information and techniques presented in this educational series will help you produce extraordinary results for all of your future customers. For information on additional presentations available in this educational series, or if you have any questions concerning McGuire's products or recommended procedures, we invite you to call our customer care hotline at 1-800-347-5700 and talk to one of our McGuire's trained experts. You can also contact McGuire's through our website at www.meguires.com. To find local listings and schedules for both our Car Crazy TV show and our Car Crazy radio show, visit www.carcrazycentral.com. Carcrazycentral.com can help you locate a club or get information on upcoming events in your area and around the world. And don't forget about our mobile training center. The friendly experts at our customer care hotline can help you find the date and location when our MTC will be in your area next. Thanks again for watching. Please call our customer care hotline for further help or more information at 1-800-347-5700.